So question one was about is about extensions so of that is block one. Uh, question two is about resistance voltage, so that is block four. Then drawing, investigating the position of uh, image by the mirror, that is block three. That's the next block we will do. And uh, question four is actually from thermal physics. So planning of experiment, how you plan the experiment, uh, the best way to plan an experiment is like answering the parts which in sequence, instead of writing the whole paragraph, try to include uh, or try to answer according to the points which are mentioned. So as you can see, a student investigate the time taken uh, to heat water in different insulated container. So we want to investigate or we want to find how much time it will take to heat the water in different types of uninsulated containers. The container all have the same volume and shape. The water is heated with the electric uh, immersion heater. The following apparatus is available. We have a uh, selection of container, like different containers are there uninsulated. We have a measuring cylinder that's to identify how much volume of water is added in each. A thermometer is there which will record a temperature initial and final and using that we can determine the temperature change. A supply of a cold water, like because we'll have initially a cold water and then we will supply heat energy. An emergent heater is there with a power supply. So we have to plan experiment to investigate the time to heat the water in different uninsulated container. You should list any additional apparatus. So what additional apparatus we need? We want to determine how much time it will take to heat the water. So what is the apparatus which is missing here? Which apparatus is the most essential one missing from this list? What we need. Because what we want, we were investigating, we have different types Top of watch. That's good. So we have a we we are missing the stopwatch is missing from this. So we have different types of uninsulated containers. What we will do, we will fill it with equal amount of water by using a measuring cylinder, like adding say 50 cm cube or 10 cm cube. Then we'll record the initial temperature. And then we'll switch on the timer and the heater at the same time. That is a procedure of this. So we place an emergent heater here. We switch on the heater and the timer at the same time. And example, we'll record until it reaches the final temperature, say 30 degrees or 50 degrees for each of them. This also until it reach a final temperature 50, this also until it reach a final temperature 50. So the additional apparatus which we need for carrying out this experiment, that is a stop stopwatch. Then briefly, explain briefly, how would you carry out the investigation? You don't have to write answer here. To write the answer, the space is available. You have about two pages to write this answer. Like here, one, one is for normally for drawing, this part is available and you can use this space. But whenever you're writing the answer, try to answer according to the point. So first they ask what additional apparatus we need. So we'll write, we need a stopwatch. Then how would you carry out the investigation? Means how we will uh, do this experiment. So what we will do, we'll heat the water in the container uh, till it reaches a specific temperature and record the time it takes to reach a specific temperature. So we will, and you can write in detail, we will fill the container with cold water and we will heat till the specific temperature and we'll record the time, like how much time it will take to reach the specific temperature. 
The next part is state the key variable that you would keep constant. What are the variables we should keep constant for a fair comparison, like whenever experiment is done. So there are certain parameters which must be kept constant. Otherwise the experiment won't be accurate or you cannot compare them. So the, this is answer for the first part. This is answer for the so key variables and variables, it is plural. You have to write uh, more than one. So you can mention volume of the temperature water. Temperature of cold water. But the, the initial temperature, that should be same. Or temperature of the cold water, the initial temperature of the cold water, uh, which you are Same stopwatch. Uh, same stopwatch. It's okay, but the same idea. These are the, the power of the heater the room temperature because these are all parameters can because same type of stopwatch does not have a great or significant effect on uh, the experiment but these are the main one like room temperature because if the room temperature is different or temperature of surrounding is different rate at which we are supplying heat energy will change uh, the power of the heater or the type of the emergent heater there's so a power of the heater that must be same as well. So plural, at least like like two or more than two, but don't write one as it is variable. So you have to write more than one. It's variables. Then draw table or tables with a column heading to show how you would display your readings, like how you'll show our reading, how you present your data or result. So what we can do, the table which we can draw here, we can have table or table. So we can have three different containers. And one more point when we are carrying out this investigation, because uh, here I did not mention, I should mention, like repeat the experiment with different containers. So fill the container with cold water, heat till the specific temperature and record the time. And then repetition is also important that repeat with other types of container. So these are the parameters which we must keep constant. Uh, these are, this is a procedure. Then table with a column heading. So what table should be there? We can have like for container A, you can mention initial temperature T1 and table with a column heading means it should be with a unit. Like example, the initial temperature is T1, say degree centigrade. The final temperature is T2, degree centigrade. And the time it took to reach that uh, temperature, that is in seconds. And the other one, the initial temperature, this is for container A, then we can do for container B. The we don't have to fill up the numbers here. The initial temperature, final temperature, and time in seconds. So this is container A. The table is always refers to column, not with the rows. Whenever you're drawing a table, it should be with column. Like the column heading is there. As I mentioned here, why I did not use a row, like uh, as you are saying, uh, so because they mentioned, yeah, we, you can also use a column for beaker as well. So the table with a column heading, the column should be there and we can mention container one or container A, container B. Then explain briefly, how would you use your readings to reach a conclusion? So how we'll reach a conclusion from our readings. So what we'll do, we'll compare the time interval. We can plot a graph between a time and a, a 
contain or we can have a bar chart as well because we just want to compare one parameter we don't have the temperature change we are keeping same for all of them so what we can do we can uh, present our data or result in the term of bar chart so we have a container on x axis we have these containers and on y axis we will have the time it will take So time is there. Yes, we can use uh, quantity in the column and then in a row, we can use beaker one, two, three. That can be done. But quantity cannot be in the row as they are asking for a column heading. So time is there and we have a container, A container, B container, C. We don't have to plot this bar chart. We just mentioned that we can use the bar chart to compare the time taken by the beaker to show a temperature change. So explain how would you use your readings to reach a conclusion. So what we will, we can write here, you can uh, make a bar chart or we can compare the time taken by containers to show the temperature change. So that's how we will reach our conclusion. So this was question four, which was related to planning experiment.